After a massive breakdown move in the crypto market last week, Fetch AI is bouncing on a significant key area of support above the 0 0.7 in a move that has now given us a break above the 20-day MA here on the one-hour chart and the next key area of resistance that I'm watching for a break above lies above the 0 0.949 and on today's video, I will be discussing my long-term price prediction analysis and give you my reasons as to why I believe the Fetch AI chart can easily give us a 10x once the bull market is back. So make sure that you stick around till the end of the video. And before I get to the analysis, make sure that you check out Bing X, which is giving you up to 5,000 USDT in rewards where you can also get up to 30 USDT in sign-up bonuses. And I will be leaving a link down in the description box. And getting back to the charts, here on the daily chart, you can see that we got a bear market low last year in October. And after we got the significant low, that is the bear market low, we saw a very nice bounce to the upside in a move that gave us a high above the 3.479 in a move that I'm terming as an ADO to have count one. And after we picked in that ADO 12 count 1, we started a breakdown move in an ADO 12 count 2, whose minimum target areas I have highlighted here on the charts using this blue target area, which is an area that I came up with using the Fibonacci, connecting the Fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that ADO 12 count 1, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78 which is an area that perfectly lies between the 1.855 and the 0 0.92. And this is an area that you can see we have now fully maximized. And at some point during that crash that we saw last week, we managed to break below the FIB level 0 0.78, but the FIB level 0 0.88 continued to hold as support. And there are high chances that in the next coming hours, we can see a reaction of this area over here and start a bounce to the upside in what could be the start of an impulsive move to the upside in this larger area to have count three which is what we expect after seeing a breakdown move in this larger area to have count two and the minimum target areas for that area to have count three can be given using the trend-based fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that area to have count one then dragging the fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the fib level 1.618, which perfectly lies above the 5.983. And once we have a high in that ADO to have count 3, we can expect a pullback in an ADO to have count 4, then continue gearing up even higher in an ADO to have count 5. And if Fetch AI is able to hit the minimum target areas in this ADO to have count 3, Basing on the current prices that we have at the moment, that will be a perfect 5x to the upside. Then once we have a high in this ADO 12 count 3, expect a pullback. Then continue seeing higher prices in this ADO 12 count 5 in a move that can easily get us back above the $8 mark. And if that is the case, then that would be a perfect 10x to the upside. So that is the reasoning behind... Uh, why I'm saying that we can easily see a 10x here on the Fetch AI chart. And before all that plays out, we need to see a number of, of confirmations. And the first confirmation is that on the lower time frames, we first need to see the start of a five wave structure to the upside to confirm that the low that we made uh, in this crash that we had last week is the last low that we are going to make in this ADO to have count two and we can easily start an impulsive move to the upside in, an, in a larger ADO to have count three. So in the next coming hours here on the Fetch AI chart on the shorter time frames, we need to try and track a five wave move to the upside like this. And the moment I have such a scenario here on the charts, I will let you know. I will give you an update and once you have such a scenario that will be enough confirmation that the low that you made below the 0 0.72 could be the low for that larger ADO to have count too and in the next coming weeks or maybe months we can start that aggressive 
bounce to the upside in that larger area to have count three so that is the price action that i'm expecting here on the fetch ai chart and that's all for this video and i hope to catch you on the next one